Hello, my name is Robert and I am here to demonstrate how to do one infant back. So first, prepare two counters, which is for undressing and drying. The second is for dressing. And then gather all the things that you needed. I have here an infant that bath with a rubber mat, uh, a hot water, a top water, a tree basins for uh, shampooing, face and body washing and for perennial washing. I also have your uh, baby soap and baby shampoo, a cotton pads, pads and a tongue depressor. And I also have here some towels and clothes of the baby and then uh, a clean diaper, I assume that this is a clean diaper, some mittens and booties, bonnet and uh, lotion and powder and actually this is just optional. So first regulate the room temperature, uh, make sure that the windows, fans and doors were closed and then perform a hand washing. So after hand washing, I get the infant from the crib. So, put the baby on the first counter and then check the diaper. So, after checking, let's assume that the diaper is soiled. And after checking the diaper, we're going to also check he, her temperature. So, the temperature is uh, on a normal, it is 37 degrees Celsius. So, the baby is ready for the infant bath. Put back the baby on the crib. And the next procedure is I uh, fill up the tub and the basins with the hot and tap water. Then check the temperature of the water. It is not too hot and not too cold for the baby by using your elbow and dipping it in, in dipping into it so the temperature of the water is ready and just fine for the baby then make sure that the the, the water on the infant tub is around two to three inches only from the bottom of the tub or it depends on the build or the body build of the baby the next is uh, Get the infant from the crib again, put it on the first counter, then right. remove the booties and the pajamas, remove the booties and the pajamas and uh, place it on the laundry hamper and remove the diaper and uh, when removing the diaper, make sure not to touch the inner part of the diaper. So, and then after removing it and put it on the trash can, start cleaning the perineal area of the infant. Get a cotton ball, squeeze the excess water, and start cleaning the perineal area going down to the anus. Then dispose the cotton ball, get another one, soak it in a warm water, lukewarm water. Squeeze the excess water, uh, gently wipe the perineal area going down to the anus and do the same un until the baby's perineal and uh, anus is clean. Then take off the rubber mat and put it on the laundry hamper. Then replace it with the receiving blanket. Then, start undressing the baby. Uh, remove the bonnet, remove the, the, the mittens, and also the clothes. Then wrap the baby. So, 
So after wrapping the baby, you can start cleaning the face. So uh, start with the eyes, get the cotton balls, soak it in warm water, squeeze the excess water, and start cleaning the eyes from the inner canthus going out and dispose get another cotton balls so get in warm water a uh, lukewarm water from the inner cant uh, squeeze out the excess water from the inner canthus going out and then dispose and next is the the face of the baby so get uh cotton balls squeezes on our lukewarm water and with a circular motion cleans the forehead yeah. going down to the cheek to the bridge of the nose to the chin to the neck to the back of the ear then do the same on the other side then pat the baby dry gently the next, uh, clean the nostril using a cotton buds. So, clean the nostrils. Uh, yep. And then <laughs> clean also the ears using the cotton buds, uh, a, a different one, from the inner opening of the canal going out. Then dispose and do the same on the other side. And then clean the infant tongue using a tongue depressor so gently press the baby's chin and then uh, remove the milk curd using the tongue, tongue depressor with the gauze and dispose the next is we're going to clean the baby's hair so we're gonna wash the hair we're gonna get the the basin with for for shampooing then uh, using a football position like this your arm is along with the body of the baby and close the ear using your finger and then get an ample amount of shampoo lather it to your palm and gently massage to the baby's hair or head then Pay attention to the cradle cap and pontalus and then rinse and pat it dry. Return the baby to the first counter. Then unwrap the infant. Get a cotton balls and start cleaning the baby's body so so get the warm water lukewarm water squeeze the excess water and then start cleaning the baby's body and pay particular attention to the creases and folds uh, do not put soaps to the hand of the infant so clean the perineal area again uh, one strike going down to the anus and then also with the back of the baby you need also and then uh, put her back and then carry the infant in the cradle position like this and then put it on the baby tab and support the head and start rinsing the baby's body so after rinsing put back the baby on the first counter then pat her dry the next put the baby on the second counter second counter where you're going to dress the baby uh, you can put a uh, lotion or powder but it is optional and put a clean diaper 
and avoid touching the inner part of the diaper. The next is the booties and pajamas. But I also I only have a one piece cloth, so I'm just assume that I already put those things. The next is put the booties. The, the middens and the bonnet and then uh, place the infant into the place back the infant into her crib and start cleaning the materials that you use and do the aftercare uh, put back all the materials like I said put back all the materials that you use and then clean the area and do the aftercare thank you